Yes. Yes. So I've been seeing this trend lately a lot in the fashion world the sequins but not just wearing sequins for like the holiday but just because like for everyday wear and i was like you know what i want to do something with that because i was thinking about getting rid of this not getting rid of but like releasing this top to someone else i like to donate some clothing over a period of time um but i decided to hold on to this top because i'm like uh, where am I going to find another top like this, first of all, with these colors? Um, I thrifted this, and I thought it was a, an amazing find, so I took the time out to go and look for this, for something like this. I found it. I brought it home with me. You know, uh, the background of this top is all cotton. I'm not, I'm not letting go of this top <laughs> just like that. Like, I can really create some outfits around this top. So I decided to keep it and I wanted to show you guys a day to night look for this top, okay? So this is the top that's continuing on to the next outfit. So one top, two outfits, okay? And I love the idea of using separates to stretch your wardrobe. I'm, I love separates. <laughs> I have lots of separates, okay? And so I feel like this is a really good separate to have a sequined item. I mean, really all you need is one. <laughs> and you can have a lot of fun with it, you know? Um, so let's get it started. Let's get started and let me show you how I decided to use this top for a day look. Okay, so I have my button down denim white skirt by Theory. And I love that it's fitted. <laughs> I, I like that it's fitted around the waist. It cinches things in, has like pockets up here. And I decided to add white to this because I didn't want to do black. I wanted the top to stand out, okay? I wanted the beautiful colors to be seen. So I felt like white denim on the bottom would really make that happen for this look. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go with it and you let me know how you like it at the end, okay? So I'm gonna add some really small hoop earrings. Actually, they're not that small, they're medium sized. They're not as big as my other gold hoops. Those are like <laughs> kind of humongous. These are more like everyday Marshalls. I always get my hoops, my like gold hoops and like silver hoops a lot of the times too. These Nine West, let me take them off and show you. These Nine West patent leather, faux patent leather platform sandals. They're like, they're mules. I'm going to call them mules. And it's really cool because they're showing my toenails. I like where this is going. Denim jacket, I love this jacket. And I've kept it in really good condition. I've had it for a couple of years and I really wear it a lot, like especially in the fall. And um, I've kept it really good. It's, it has some stretch in it. And I've seen these online too. And I'll link, I'll link for you guys where you can find certain things. I don't have my affiliate links yet, but I'm working on it. I love the idea of white denim and blue denim, like the mismatch. And then there's like hints of blue in the sequin top. So I feel like that ties in really nicely together. When you're creating an outfit, the continuation really works. It's, it's a lot of times it's aesthetically pleasing for a lot of folks, you know, as you're looking at something. Um, but there are other people where they, they do what they want. They see things different. Beauty is different for them in different ways. So you get to figure out how continuous you want your outfit to look and, you know, from which angle and things like that. Um, but I like the idea of adding the patent leather mules to this look, um, because it's really playful like the top. Okay. And I'm kind of connecting with my inner child here because this outfit is like really playful. It's, it's cool. I, I like where it's going. And I'm going to add a couple of bangles. My gold arm party together. 
it's getting there. I'm getting more bit by bit. It's okay. It's okay to like, you know, bit by bit go out and, and check out pieces and see what you find, see what you like and things like that. Sometimes it can take me months or like even like a couple of years to find something that I really want for the price that I would like to pay. Okay, so I just give it time. I just go with the flow and give it time. Um, and I'm going to add a couple of other things. Let me get a bag. I'm gonna rock this Vivian Westwood crossbody bag. If you take the straps off, it can also be worn as a clutch. But it's the daytime. We're not doing clutch right now. We are doing cross a body. Cause you know, when you're walking in New York City, you don't want nobody snatching your bag. It's on you, right? They gonna snatch all of you. Well, that's not even good, but you know what I mean. So, um, can't have nobody taking my coins. Okay. Okay, so I like where this is going. And let me grab some shades. So cute in this outfit. I went and took a look at myself in the mirror and was like, oh, yes, honey, work girl. And with the bun and everything, oh, I feel like with sequins, you really don't want to like, have your hair all down and stuff. I mean, I mean, you can, but for this look, I wanted to really show off the sequins and like really make the sequins the focal point of this outfit. You know what I'm saying? And then everything else around the outfit just complements it. You know what I mean? So let's go with these Tom Ford's round, round eye sunnies, round frame sunnies. And oh my gosh, I am loving this look. I am loving this, loving her, yes. I might just wear this to a barbecue this Saturday. My mom is having this barbecue and then my boyfriend's family is having a barbecue too for, for like the Labor Day weekend. And so we're gonna take this top and bottom into the night arena, okay? Have a little fun with a nighttime look with a sequin top. Uh, like I said before, you know, you don't have to go out and buy a sequin top for, for uh, you know, a, a lot of money. You can find something affordable at your thrift shop. Thrift stores all, always have like lots of sequins going on, um, like beaded stuff. You know, like go and see and see if you see something that you like, right? This is by H&M and by the brand uh, Divided that H&M sells. And I thrifted it locally here in Montclair at Little Treasures Thrift Shop here in Montclair. And I felt like it was a really great find. I don't thrift often. I just have like maybe five thrifted pieces <laughs> in my wardrobe. Uh, but when I thrift, I, I really do try to make it meaningful, okay? I have maybe five, a little bit more than five, okay? So let me show you guys how I decided to rock this. So I put on these bling earrings like heart-shaped type of vibe earrings and um i felt like I, it would play it up a little bit for the nighttime vibe and i'm going to add these shoes to the mix it's like kind of type of old school kind of feel so i'm going to throw these on just want a little hardware on my my wrist just to complete things for myself a little hardware Okay, Vince Camuto boots, both boots are on. And I love the suede in these boots, particularly because yeah, I have this velvet, like retro type of metal loop handle bag that I wanted to wear with this look. So I feel like the boots are fitting and if I'm walking around in the city at night, you know, let's just say these two inch suede Vince Camuto boots are perfect for the occasion. And then the pant falls over the boot like so. So I felt like this was quick, easy, fun, you know, a little glam, a little va va vu, but still some comfort. Um, so I felt like this was a really great way to make this top, uh, to reinvent this top into a, a nighttime look, okay? So I hope you enjoy the look. So I wanted to leave you guys with a message like I've been doing lately. So the message for this video is do not be afraid to love upon yourself. Okay, so I came on here tonight and like every other time that I come on here because I'm committed. This is a form of 
creativity for me and it's a way for me to show myself love because it's one of my desires it's one of my passion uh, this makes me happy and I look forward to making these videos and creating and thinking and piecing things together so I just want to say don't be afraid to love up on yourself you know if it's that hobby that you've always wanted to try you know go ahead and try it you deserve it love upon you you know if it's that walk that you've always wanted to take in that like amazing neighborhood or really peaceful neighborhood like go ahead go for that walk if it's that marathon that race that you've been wanting to do to support others and maybe raise some money or you know kind of advocate for a group or something like go for it like do those little things that make you you and don't like shush your ideas don't shush your ideas and like sweep them over to the side because they're your ideas they're what makes you you and you're thinking about it for a reason so if not now maybe in the future but the reason the, the thought of it is there for a reason and you are worthy of putting that time and effort into yourself and loving up on you because society will have us like working 24 7 okay where you we don't even have a break you know and doing this I run my own business and I have to take these breaks for myself in order to do these videos you know it's it's like it's like a no-brainer okay so I make it work in my life so you can make it work in your life also if you really want to do it don't be afraid to love upon you you're worth it and with that guys I love to love you it's your girl Samantha Cola and I'll see you again here soon yeah